Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time for IPOs and there are a lot of IPOs lined up on this month of August. There are a lot of uh, um, SME IPOs as well. Almost over 15 IPOs are lined up and there are three IPOs which are in the early first week of August. The most uh, enticing one on this is your Ola Electric and we'll see like how good is it of a company to get invested onto it. So without further delay, let's get started with the video. So if you have noticed, Ola Electric is issuing uh, shares almost about 6,000 plus crores of which uh, there's going to be like 5,500 crores is going to be invested onto their own business development and um, the other 645 crores is going to be an OFS. So that's going to be another part of this video which we'll see in detail like who is all going to be getting benefited from this 650 crores and uh, the 5,000 crores uh, Ola has uh, declared as they are going to be using uh, 1200 crores for their uh, cell production technology for their uh, capacity expansion. So they are going to invest on that feature and uh, there is going to be another 1400 crores which they have planned up again to invest on to their R&D department. So that comes roughly about 7% of their investment of their earnings, the revenue at least and that they are going to invest into their R&D department because they wanted to like uh, become the next uh, Maruti. So they are planning up with that in their uh, business prospects. And if you have noted up their uh, results, you could see that uh, the company was um, almost like uh, trying to come up with their assets. They are improving up their assets. So if you could see this uh, 24 financial uh, March results, you could see the assets have considerably increased. The revenue has also like increased from about uh, 2000 crores to 5000 crores. It has increased up. But the uh, profit after tax that comes to like negative values still. So for the short term, the company is definitely on a, a drawback set because of this uh, PAT value being negative. But on a long run, if you think on the perspective of uh, um, Ola, then the company has got like stronger business horizon and they are planning to expand up their new uh, bikes as well. So they have got uh, almost uh, three or four models of bike, the SL1 model, the SL1 Air, the X and the X Plus. So these four are their best selling models and the company has also like formed up, uh, um, they are like including up with a new range of motorcycles they are going to be like uh, launching up into this which is going to be an adventure, roadster and cruiser. So these are all like things are lined up for them in their uh, business network and they are having a very strong uh, customer service uh, centers as well. They have got over 431 service centers and there are over almost 900 uh, showrooms for them. So that is like gaining a lot of traction among the users. So everywhere people are getting hyped up with this name Ola and that's like uh, adding up to their uh, business boost across, across the minds of different sect of people. And besides that India is not alone, it's only market. They are also having up their market in Southeast Asia as well as in African nations as well. So that's also again going to be their uh, uh, place of sales as well. So that's going to increase up their uh, um, business sales and their R&D department is something which is going on a full swing and the company's uh, revenue for a current year like this financial year is like uh, the losses have like uh, reduced by 8% so roughly about uh, the losses comes to around 5000 crores so if you have noticed that the company has declared that the uh, total expenses of this has increased uh, to uh, 62000 millions in your fiscal 2024 to, uh, which was earlier to 38,000 in 2023. So this is because of the increase in the production cost of the materials and in the uh, production of the scooters as well as the uh, sales in line with the growth of these uh, scooters as well. So if you have noticed that the company has like planning to utilize 1600 crores towards the R&D from this IPO money. So whatever is going to be like incurred from that, that's going to be spent directly onto your uh, R&D department, also onto your uh, cell production technologies. So that's again going to be a additional point or I would say it is a plus point for that but a negative of uh, returns as well as your uh, PAT value is definitely a minus for that and uh, do note that this is not an uh, advice or like any this is just a fair uh, understanding of the business. I'm not advising you to like apply or not apply to this. I am definitely going to apply because I'm projecting or expecting at least a 20 to 30 percent of uh, growth in this for a short term. But on a longer term, the company can definitely uh, do greater wonders. It also depends upon the uh, uh, investors on to it. Like if it is going to be like picked up by any mutual funds, then definitely this is going to rock it up. And uh, if you have noticed that I told in the earlier part of the video, there's going to be an OFS of almost uh, 600 plus crores. So that is going to be like mostly utilized by Mr. Bhavish Agarwal. He's the CEO of this company. He holds up uh, almost a majority of these uh, 
company shares, 87% to be precise. And of this selling, if you are even keeping it as a lower band of the price of 72 rupees, he's going to be get a whopping 270 crores out of this. So that's going to be the money that's going to be, he's going to be like pocketing up. Then the other prominent investors of this company, the company is being backed by SoftBank, Japanese bank, and is again going to be like with your uh, other companies like Tiger Global Management, also with uh, uh, the Matrix Partners India. So these both are the uh, other two investors of this company and we've got some celebrities as well in this uh, the Akhtar brothers you've got uh, Zoya Akhtar as well as Farhan Akhtar into this they have also invested during the series C funding of this company so each of them have like invested almost 1 crore and 2 crores into this so because of this uh, uh, IPO and of this OFS they're going to be like greatly benefited from this and uh, it is going to be uh, 1.3 crores for uh, Zoya Akhtar and it's going to be 2.5 crores for Farhan Akhtar so that's roughly 22% or 17% of growth for them. And besides that, there's going to be a huge bunch of uh, the top 10 uh, employees of uh, uh, Ola Electric who's going to be benefited from this. The CTO of this company who is going to be Mr. Uh, Suvanil Chatterjee. He's roughly going to get like 151 crores of this in the world. And uh, there are other people into this. You can see in the screen here, there's a list of people and uh, amount of shares that they're holding in this business. And these are all the people who are all going to be getting benefited because of this OFS. This IPO is definitely going to increase up a lot of awareness among the people among uh, upon EV uh, production of bikes and this is going to definitely increase up the sales of uh, Ola scooters as well. So while the early stage investors are definitely going to book profits on their uh, returns, the IPO investors are definitely going to keep uh, invested or stay invested in this firm and they're going to keep increasing up the company's prospects on a longer run. And that's not all. There's a windfall gains or the, we call that as a windfall uh, profits who are all going to get because of this. There are a few companies in this uh, which is uh, Tiger Global and uh, Matrix Partners. So these both were the early day investors of uh, uh, Ola. So they were the ones who invested during the 20 to 17 days and uh, that was the time when they bought it for 11 rupees and 8 rupees. And they are going to get benefited from this. And besides the uh, CTO of the company, Mr. Suvanil Chatterjee, there are others who are going to be um, getting profited from this. Mr. Harish Abhichandani, who is the CFO of this company, he's going to be having shares worth 53 crores. And also uh, a former Baiju's ex executive, uh, Mr. Jitesh Shah, he's also going to have almost 47 crores out of this. And uh, the employees of... Uh, Ola as well, if they have retained up their stocks and uh, the ASOP plans gives them for if, if they have served the company for four years and if someone has uh, like having those shares, they're also going to be like uh, having or benefited from these IPOs. So this is the rough uh, idea of uh, Ola and what is going to be their prospect and uh, I'm definitely going to invest in this so because I'm expecting at least a 20 to 30 percent of growth into this and uh, do let me know your comments if you are going to invest on this IPO and uh, uh, if you like this video, do share it with your friends and for more such contents, uh, do subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you up in the next one. Thanks for watching.